hi everyone a very good evening so let's start then let me introduce myself first this is krishna here and uh, i'm working in edureka for past two plus years and it's been a great journey so far and before working on it i was doing a lot of classroom trainings in-house one-on-one sessions kind of and i have close to 15 years of teaching experience besides that i am actually working in an it also and uh, i have close to 15 years of experience there as well so that's more about me let's start with our today's session today's session is about a skill for data science it's a foundational training so here the question comes first of all what is data science when why particularly sql is used and on which areas sql you think is important in the data science world that's more about it so let's start then so the agenda is something like this we will talk about what is data science then we'll think about why sql is needed for data science we'll also understand what is sql and some basics of sql and in between i'll show you some tools using which you can practice sql also you don't need to install i mean a lot of people say that you can install and all there are even pretty easier ways these days you can have online sql tools also where you can use it now what is data science any idea guys data science is all about study of data and like aish pointed out yes it is main objective is to get insights so there are two parts of it what is data science you study the data why you have to study the data to get insights why you need to worry about insights a simple example if you take if let's say you're working in a company and company came and asked you saying hey we are launching a product can you tell me after before launching based on the whatever beta launch we have done for a few customers do you think we will be getting high sales or low sales how it should be so what you will be doing is in the beta launch whatever the customer feedback everything is there you go and start analyzing and finally produce a particular result set which talks about the feedback insights which tells about whether customers are really liking it or what is the things they are expecting are they going to buy your product or what is the price they are expecting you to put for that product all that so these kind of insights is what your data science gives and why data science scientists paid highest because of this reason because you are the guys the data scientists i mean are the one who actually drive business decisions you are the ones who help business to react according to your insights that's all about the data science and why it is being prominent today and very important today's world is because we have multiple technologies all around the world like earlier it used to be only some some keyboard phone that's all there's a keypad and that's all nothing more than that now you see smartphones are there you have tablets you have kindle have alexa i mean i'm not sure how many people know through alexa you can call also that is also available a lot of smart devices are there and data is like flowing like anything and in fact other than that there are a lot of social media networks are there social media websites are there it is like millions of it every day innovations are happening and the data flows like anything since the data is so huge people uh, companies need somebody to do that data crunching so that they can understand what are the insights from that that's the whole concept of data science is about now coming to the question of why is sql needed so first of all like i said data science is uh, all about studying data and your sql exactly fits to that because sql means structured query language basically in sql what you do is you actually give some set of queries or you can say you actually pass some set of questions to your database saying hey get me this data which is matching to my condition or create this table where the field should be like that or enter this data all that you can work on the massive data set that's why the sql fits very well sql is just one type of it it's not only the one backend you can use sql or you can even use more you can use NoSQL databases like dynamodb as well so here since the discussion is all about sql we are talking about it but sql is not the only one sql is just one part of it see when you say data science and study of data don't think that you will always get unstructured data there is a lot of chance where you get structured data also there your sql really helps because structured data sql is very good at it edit what is sql like i said it's a structure query language where its aim is to pass a question to your database and mostly what sql can do it can help you to query query is nothing but passing a question to your database to retrieve some data from it inserting that means putting some data into it updating that means modifying some data in the database deleting that means deleting a particular record from the database and then finally extracting whatever you need 
and when you say rdbms it's a relational database management system when you say relational it means relational table means any data which has which is having a structure in the form of relations rows and columns kind of that's called a relational database other than sql for database if you see there are a lot like these days if you talk about it you have to talk about two things whether your data is structured or unstructured if you say you have to do a lot of data crunching using data which is structured nature nature you can go for any sql supported database languages but if your data is unstructured probably you have to look at other areas like nosql or the big data ones are there right like hive uh, pig latin those are all nosql databases they can easily get the data for you so there are lots and lots of it okay so why we you have to support your skill is simple it is free it's open source it helps you to support large databases through multiple programming interfaces you mysql you can connect through java you can connect through python you can connect through Perl. that support is there because there are a lot of libraries available and you can customize according to your needs that's the main reason this is just a community edition you get when you're downloading mysql in fact you don't need mysql also there is even a smaller version of it called sqlite even that also you can use that is just comes in your system sqlite and mysql is different but i'm just saying if you are not getting because of this reason you can install sqlite also the latest version i think sqlite 3 is there and in mysql you have different data types like you have numeric data type character bit boolean date and time 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 interval the names are self-explanatory like the numeric when you say it's all about numbers whether it's an integer number or float numbers characters is all about single characters when the characters are huge you will go for c log which is character large objects bit string is all for binary data boolean is for the true or false values the logical values date and time is all about the date and time part and timestamp and interval is the timestamp data part so we'll talk about the structure training in edureka so this structure training is all about let's say you want to become a data scientist how your journey should be one thing understand any data scientist if you want to go towards any data science world you need to be good in one programming language it could be python it could be r doesn't matter but you need to be good in one programming language because that is the language you use to do all your data science activities and here we have in edirica we use python for teaching all of the data science and machine learning stuff because as you know python is trending and it is a simple language to use and here is the course we have called data science using python where we start you right from the python basics and take you to the data science world and slowly move you on to the machine learning world as well and this is the course which makes you data scientist easily it puts you all the foundation so that you are ready to be an aspiring data scientist now coming to basics of sql so now coming to here if you want to create a database this is the command you can just say create database and name of it that's all and after creating it certain sql sql languages like mysql and all they need to use use this thing so that they know which database you are using it is just to say that this database i'm currently want to use it you're just making that as active and when it comes to create table once you create a database understand database is all about multiple collection of tables and when you have a lot of tables and you have to create a table so table is nothing but collection of records and each record is in the structure of rows and columns so here is where you are creating your table and you are saying different uh, variables of data types if you see we have seen one slide on the data types that data types is what you will mention here for each of the columns once you mention that this is what you are creating the structure of your table that means the schema if i want to really call in the terms of database uh, language terminology but once you create it you need to fill with the data because you just created the structure of it so that is where your insert query helps where you are saying insert into this particular table and the values are you will be passing the list of values and automatically those values gets inserted once inserted the data i got inserted you need a way of getting information from the database that's where your select query comes in and using select query you can get information from any table in your database and update table is all like once you create the database and tables inside it if you want to change a particular value in the table based on a condition you can use this update so you can just say update that particular table name set that column name to something where it meets a certain condition and delete delete is all about if you want to delete the rows in a table you can just say delete from table and based on the condition also you can give if you are not putting a condition it will delete all the rows drop table is to drop the table completely the main difference between drop table and delete is when you say delete it actually deletes the record from the database but it will not delete the structure your database will still be available 
even though it deletes your records they will still be available in the buffer until you commit the changes whereas when you say drop table it deletes the complete not only the records but also the complete structure everything from the your uh, buffer everything everything cleans up so this is the right one to delete the table now just to show you like online tools if you want to practice in sqlite there are multiple venues one a simpler one is if you want don't want to set up a large huge one i would suggest to use something like sqlite 3 this is a very good website where you can just install in your system and start working on sqlite so this is one thing i would suggest this will locally install a small sql uh, database into your system and here each database or table will be stored in the form of files and it is something which you can work you don't need to do anything just download and use it that is one option and let's say you don't want to do all that and you want to play with online and you have these things also like a lot of websites like w3 schools tutorial point where you can directly play with the queries as well so let me show you simple queries here let me first uh, yeah, I shared this link also. So you see uh, today's world. We are so fortunate that a lot of people have already built the tools We don't need to do anything much like you see there are already tables here So if you want to query from this is the select query I'm using I can just say select star from categories Semicolon and just run the SQL you see these are the ones it is there and let's say here I want to get only the beverage information. I can put a condition like where category name equal to beverages and here once i run it uh category name syntax error did i uh, there is a two r's you see so this is like a condition i'm matching and even in that if you want to delete a particular thing you can say delete from table name categories where category name beverages so it deletes that particular thing now onwards once you delete it if you want to see it you see this it has no result that, that is deleted okay so if you want to see it you can just say this and you don't see the beverages so i have deleted it okay so i can do that or if i want to create a table i can create it like let's say create table demo i'm saying id varchar 2 of 10 and I created it you just observe here. There's a demo table created and it doesn't have anything So if you want to insert the data into it, you can just say insert into demo uh, Values Let's say demo ID we have given right 10 I'm just inserting that record. That's it. Now if you want to see one more entry you want to insert 20 I inserted one more 30 I inserted one more now let's start querying on this. You see, we just created a table, inserted data into it, and you can see that. So you can play with this one also. You don't need to really install if you want to play with something. So there are like a lot of opportunities today in the internet where without even installing, you can just play on the internet. It's all all that it needs is your time. If you properly invest your time, there is nothing impossible, and you can easily get all the things done. Okay. So it's as simple as that all you need is internet okay that's all guys okay, just... thanks you for joining the class and uh, let's see, let's meet in some other session but and i hope this session at least help you to get some foundation on sql which is required for data science see you all guys